Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up a prepaid expense. So if you pay, for example, your entire year's worth of general liability insurance in uh, January, then how is that going to um, spread? How are you going to spread the costs of that insurance across the 12 months that the uh, payment is paying for? Okay, so first thing that you want to do is we're going to go ahead and enter the bill, right? Because um, you got to pay it. So we're going to enter the bill to, um, let's just say, we'll just create a new vendor called insurance. Okay. And the bill is going to be on December 1st. Okay. So the bill's here and the amount is going to be $12,000. And we're going to put it against the ex the account. Even though it says expenses, we're actually going to put it towards the um, the other current asset account, prepaid insurance or prepaid expenses, whatever it is. Okay, so I'm going to stick it towards prepaid insurance for the twelve thousand dollars, and I'm going to go ahead and say save and close. Now it's going to be sitting in our uh, accounts payable now to pay that $12,000. And then there's also going to be a balance sitting here in our prepaid insurance. Okay. So if I open this up, open up this register here, you see that I do have an insurance for or the insurance payment for prepaid. So my asset went up by $12,000 here. All right. So let's just say that it's $12,000, but it's actually for the year 2017. Pretend like we're in 2016 today. So it's actually for 2017 that you're setting this up. So then what you can do, which is really nice, is you can go in and go to your uh, Make General Journal Entries. And I'm going to hide the list of entries so this comes off my screen. That's extra jumble on my screen I don't need. So the first date is going to be on January 1st, 2017. And I'm going to be hitting the prepaid insurance account, and I'm actually, it holds a debit balance naturally, which means it, when it's positive, it's holding, it's debiting, you know, it's, it's got a debit balance. So I want to subtract from prepaid insurance. So that means I want to have a credit. It's going to credit prepaid insurance when this happens. Okay, so you can fill in the memo, uh, adjusting for monthly insurance. Okay, you can have a certain class that it goes to, and then the other side of the account, so that you have it, you know, the debits and credits have got to match out. Uh, the other side of the account is going to be your uh, insurance expense account. Okay, so I have my insurance here, and we're going to call it just liability insurance here. And instead of saving this now, because I don't want to just go ahead and create all these entries going forward into 2017, I'm actually going to memorize it. All right, so this is going to be my general liability insurance, and I want to automatically have it enter how often monthly. The next date is going to be January 1st, uh, number remaining. There was 12 months. It's covering 12, year, 12 months out of the year, so there's 12 left. Days in advance to enter. I want to enter it, um, let's say, 15 days in advance and say OK. Now, here again, if I save this, it's going to save the transaction, but I don't want to save it because I want to wait until 15 days before the first of the of the year and have it automatically be entered into the system. So I'm actually going to push clear on this. That doesn't mean it didn't save my memorized transaction. If I go up to my memorized transaction list, there's that GL insurance, and the next date you know, is 1-1-2017. So it'll automatically amortize that prepaid insurance for you over the year.